Hey, hey, everyone, we're back. That's not my regular intro. What's going on? G'day, everyone. Viv here. Hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. There we go. That sounds a bit more natural. So we're working on, or Scott's working on that table again, and he wants to paint it. He's already done part of it, which we'll see in just a second, actually. Just let's look right now, bugger it. Why not? So he's already painted part of it, and uh, ne never mind the cake finish on this. It's all going to be flocked. It looks delicious. It, it does. We have a bakery around the corner that smells delicious at 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, but getting into all these cracks and everything is going to be a pain in the butt. So he wanted to get an airbrush out, and I said, there's no point getting an airbrush out. That's going to be an even bigger pain in the ass. So we're going to use that fence sprayer. You guys have seen it before. When uh, at the bunker, I did a couple of tables using that fence sprayer. Um, and it's kind of like an airbrush. You can gently squeeze the trigger and get a small amount of paint out of it. So we're going to give that a crack and see what happens. All we're doing right now is just uh, thinning out some paint. This again is just another sample pot for the colour, uh, people interested in the colour. Uh, I'm going to put the colour of it just here. Um, I'll put too much water in it. Yeah, it's thinned with a little bit of water. They do recommend 10% water. Um, and uh, sort of, we never measure anything, so we blasted a little bit too much water in there. But it'll be fine, won't it? So let's spray something on this board and see what happens. So this thing is super loud. It sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Can you do this side here, Scott? So it's just a matter of going over the board. The paint is a little bit thin, so we'll probably do two coats. One just to give coverage, and then the second one we'll be able to see that yellow coming through um, and uh, come back and hit that stuff up. So just a matter of spraying it with that board. Obviously, you could do this by a brush, but it's just a matter of trying to jam it into all those little cracks to sort of get paint in there. So here we go. It's pretty much, pretty much done. There. I'm sure there'll be a few bits that we'll see as we're going through, but once the, the ravine here is the important part. This will get brushed grey you said Scott? Yeah probably maybe tan. So we'll, we'll come back anyway with a black pigment. Now if you go to your paint department you can ask for just the black pigment. It's this super super concentrated pigment right which they mix with the paint to make coloured paint if you get the black pigment they'll more, normally give you a very very small jar of it and you thin that with water and it makes an excellent wash especially for foam like this and it works one is on the yellow foam. I can't speak for the other ones because we don't normally use it but it will go through and then find any of that yellow. Well it's not going to go out and seek it out. It's not fucking medicine like you know they say that Panadol will seek out your pain that's not true it's not true they got sued did they get sued yeah. that's so good um but it will uh blacken all of any yellow foam that's sort of still existing in those cracks so um there's our massive chocolate cake so far it's not a massively exciting video but uh, nonetheless it's part of the process and as I mentioned to someone who'd asked in the comments I'd love to see it from beginning to end I will try to capture this from beginning to end and right now I'm spending a lot of time doing that um so there we go. It's a simple base coat. The biggest thing that we do that uh, is use that, that, that fence sprayer. Now for those people who are interested, there's lots of different fence sprayers around. I tried a really cheap one. I picked up this Wagner uh, W550. Um, it's worked well. I know that Mike from Terrain Scapes has uh, using something that's uh, a little bit more high quality than this. But uh, there we go. Makes the job quick and simple. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Ciao.